This is Toy 2. This is my second drone. It's an S550 Hexacopter. Uh, it's being driven down here by a Pixhawk flight controller. And what I'm making this video for is to show you the settings I have come up with for my Walkera Plastic Edition G2D Brushless Gimbal. And it is holding an SJ Cam SJ4000 camera, which is uh, not a GoPro, but pretending to be. So the first thing you might notice is that the camera itself has some rather natty bits of lead glued on to one side of it. This is because this camera is lighter than the GoPro. It's also a different size, which is why it's being held on with these rubber bands rather than the uh, proper fittings. So basically the lead has been glued on so that the camera will stay approximately <laughs> level. Uh, without that lead the weight of the motor there pulls the whole thing over and the gimbal itself isn't supposed to be fighting any extra weight, it's just supposed to be uh, floating around nicely. So I will just plug this in. Okay, there we go, I've plugged it in. If you'll see, I've actually got my gimbal running off a second battery which is sitting up here on top of the flight battery. This is the small one. Uh, there we go, the gimbal is powered up. It has done its thing. Can't move the drone far because it's plugged into the charger at the back, but you'll see now if I move the drone, the gimbal is working. So the gimbal's very happy just doing its own thing in uh, automatic mode. It does have a mode switch down here, uh, which seems to be something rather mysterious. Uh, it's switched to the back, which I think is mode one. Well, uh, if it isn't, I'll let you know later on. We've got it connected under there into that particular socket with the ground wire towards uh, the back, so the ground is at this end. It's coming up uh, around here and it is into this auxiliary one. Will the camera focus? It's into that walks one socket on there. Perhaps if I change that. Anyway, it's into there. So that's the camera in its basic mode and if you fly it like that it will stabilize your pictures very nicely. What I was trying to do was to get the region of interest working and uh, that has taken some time and messing around uh, but I have now sorted it. That's what this wire is for. You only need that if you're trying to get the flight controller to work. So, so we'll quickly pop over here to Mission Planner and a different microphone. You can see it's Mission Planner 1.3.52 and it's loaded APM Copter version 3.5.4 and then a little string of numbers. This is the uh, initial setup optional hardware camera gimbal page. <clears throat> so first of all at the top there we've got the type, this is servo. Uh, if you connect the gimbal as we've seen it over there straight to a servo output or straight to one of your sticks or a knob on your transmitter then it will work. So that's the giveaway there. Now the next option down is uh, the tilt servo 9 it says there which can be a bit confusing. What we've actually got if you look at your Pixhawk R8, normal uh, standard outputs on the end of the block. Those are for the motors. I'm using one to six at the moment. And then you've got auxiliary outputs. And basically auxiliary ones come after the normal eight. So auxiliary one is servo nine. The servo limits will uh, and angles will vary according to uh, your particular gimbal obviously, but I have found that uh, for a maximum angle of zero, so that's a zero against the horizontal, that's looking straight forwards, that this value of uh, 1490 seems to be uh, good. 
and at the other end for the minus 90, so that's with the camera looking straight down, then a servo limit of 1765. That's doing the trick for me. I've got the input channel disabled because I'm running a vintage uh, Spectrum DX6i. I don't have anything knobby to control the gimbal. I'm only interested in the region of interest. So that's those settings there. Uh, now I need to go to play and find out if it all works. So off we went. I went up to Birkrig Common, which is a place near where I live. And there's a stone circle. So I set a mission and route planner and as you see we spun around we set the region of interest to the stone circle this is the first flight and as you might be able to detect we're not getting any tilt or pitch as you might call it <coughs> on the gimbal which is a bit disappointing it is however following the waypoints and aiming the camera in the right direction for the stone circle so i had a bit of a think and it occurred to me that I remembered something about setting the altitude for the region of interest. Now, the waypoints have all gone to the default 15 metres uh, above the starting height. And uh, so has the region of interest. For the second test, I was a bit nervous about setting the altitude of anything to zero. <clears throat> so I did it close to me. I've set the region of interest approximately where me and the car are. And I've set the altitude to that region of interest to zero. So that's zero relative to the launch point. And yes, there we go. We are getting tilt and pitch over the top. Still pointing the camera down at me and the car. Hooray! circle again but with the uh, altitude set to zero the pitch working so this was the effect I really wanted very happy chat now enjoy 